Relatively speaking, it would seem that the Vehicons were considered the high point of Beast Machines. Whether it was the return of proper vehicle Transformers to the US since Machine Wars, or the designs were just more appealing than the Maximals, they made an impact for sure. As is sometimes the case with this franchise, the Beast Machines toy line featured characters that never appeared in the cartoon. Case in point, one of the earliest Vehicons, Mirage. Though absent from the show, Mirage appeared in 3H Comics, where he is depicted as the general of the race car, or chase model drones. His alternate mode is a Cybertronian car, however the canards, suspension, and style of spoiler are comparable to an actual Formula One racer. And that's where the commonalities with G1 Mirage end. Well, that and sporting blue parts. Concept art had Mirage done in bright red, with blue decals, and a spoiler fading from yellow to orange. I prefer the finalised deco of dark green, yellow, black, grey, silver, with the blue being translucent plastic. Other details include small exhausts at the rear, the clear missiles shaped like larger exhausts, unpainted rockets each side of the spoiler, and the gun where the cockpit would be. Fold it back, rotate the whole piece around, and you have an articulated head in vehicle mode, a gimmick common with most Vehicons. Underneath the nose, you'll find a line-wide feature, the Spark Crystal, bearing the sigil of his true allegiance. With the robot mode, I must say that the Vehicon aesthetic is hard to pin down. They're not as hyper-detailed as the live-action film designs, yet they sport inhuman proportions and features, like claws, pincers, unilegs, or digitigrade legs, and elongated heads with mouth plates. Mirage has some of these elements, such as that head sculpt, the thighs are incredibly short, with the knee joints higher than you'd expect, and assuming I even have his feet transformed correctly, they're misaligned with the leg itself. One thing I've seen some people do is transform the legs like this, with the wheels still deployed, which is more in line with something like Thrust's wheeled unileg. So Mirage can skate, and given those pressure-launched missiles resemble ice hockey clubs, it kinda suits him. Aside from the missiles, the gun mounted on his head can detach and be handheld. Almost every joint that makes up Mirage's limbs are ball and sockets, the shoulders, elbows, hips and knees, except the ankles, which can technically swivel horizontally. His waist also swivels, and the head is on a hinged stem that's ball jointed at the other end. He's not the easiest figure to balance, given that he doesn't have a flat footprint. Beast Machines is not a line you'll see much on this channel, very few of its figures interest me. But I'm glad to have experienced Mirage. He's a fun little toy, with a cool look and cooler play options, even if some of them weren't intentional. Mirage may be evil, but the toy is as good as gold. And yes, most of my future Beast Machines reviews will likely be of Vehicons, save for a certain snake in the grass.